Good day boys and girls. We're going to be looking at mixed fractions, addition and subtraction for today's maths lesson. Good day boys and girls. For mathematics lesson grade 5, we're going to be looking at mixed fractions, addition and subtraction. Firstly, we will be looking at adding mixed fractions. Mixed fractions comprises of whole numbers and fractions. In our example, we can see that 2 and 1 sixth plus 4 and 2 thirds have different denominators. Firstly, we can add our whole numbers, which is 2 plus 4, and then we will separate the fractions, which I have written in green, which is the 1 sixth plus the 2 thirds. Slide number 3. The 2 plus 4 from the previous slide gives us 6 as the whole number. The fractions cannot be added as their denominators are not the same. You must also note that the top number is a numerator, the number of parts which we have. The dom denominator is the bottom part which is total parts in the whole. Slide 4. Here we will be adding the fractions. Um, we firstly have to convert the two thirds to the same denominator as a one sixth, and to do this, we must multiply three times two. And remember, whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. Step 3 is to add the fractions plus a whole number. We simplify our fractions by writing down our one sixth plus the new fraction that we have where we converted our two thirds. We multiplied them by two. The numerator was two multiplied by two which gives us four. Three multiplied by two which gives us six as a denominator. We now have a common denominator which is 6. We therefore write down our whole number which is 6 plus 6 as a denominator. Then we add our numerators which is 1 plus 4 which gives us 5 over 6. Once we add our fraction plus the whole number we eventually get an answer of 6 and 5 over 6. In this slide, we are subtracting mixed fractions. We have 3 and 3 over 4, subtract 1 and 7 over 8. Our first step is to convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions. We will firstly write down our 4, which is the denominator on the left. Then we multiply 4 times 3 which is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. That's how we end up with 15 over 4. And on the right hand side, we will multiply 8, multiplied by 1, add 7, which gives us 15. And we also write down the same denominator as the mixed fraction, which is the 8. We, have, we then end up with 15 over 8. When subtracting improper fractions, 15 over 4, subtract 15 over 8, you will notice that the denominators are not the same. We can make both common by multiplying the 4 by 2 and 15 by 2. In the third step, we get an, get an answer of 30 over 8, subtract 15 over 8. We now can subtract. We, in our next step, we get an answer of 15 over 8, which is an improper fraction. This will now have to be simplified to a mixed fraction, seen in the next slide. In this slide, we will be converting our improper fraction to a mixed fraction. 
15 divided by 8 which gives us 1 the 1 becomes our whole number in the mixed fraction and we left with a remainder of 7 which becomes our numerator and the 8 as we have it in our improper fraction will be used also as a denominator in our last slide we have a final answer which is 1 and 7 over 8.